Hello and welcome to another episode of the DMG Tech Show. I am your host, Jonathan Parkinson, and in this episode is going to be a kind of special episode. Now, this is not going to be a special episode for just anybody, but it's definitely going to be for you Minecraft fans out there. Uh, what we're going to be doing is installing MindTest. Now, I've probably made this video at least 30 times, literally 30 times. And the reason I've had trouble is just everything's been falling apart and crashing with so many things opening up. And I believe it just has to do with my CPU not being able to handle what I'm doing. But hopefully with this fresh installation of Crouton and running on Raring, things should be ready to go. And I should get this video up and running smoothly for you guys. So what you want to do to get MindTest installed is you want to go ahead and open up your terminal. So we'll go ahead and open up this terminal. And you're going to want to type in each one of these commands, followed by enter and as well as your um, password. Now, if you do not want to enter in your password, you can just type in sudo su and type in your password that way. And from there on out, you can now enter all those commands without pressing your password. So it just kind of saves you the hassle of having to do it over and over and over again. Now, once you have those commands up and running and installed, you can go ahead and close that terminal. You will then need to go and you will see that if you go into your game section, you have MindTest installed. Now, once MindTest is installed, you should be greeted with a similar screen to this. Uh, what we've installed is going to be the daily, uh, sorry, daily builds of MindTest and not the stable builds. Uh, the reason we don't do the stable is because the stable is extremely outdated. I almost want to say it's from 2009 or somewhere in that area. So with the dailies, you know, you're, you're kind of up to date quite, you know, pretty nicely. So you're going to see all these tabs that you're going to have on top. Uh, once you have these tabs, you're going to see the server. To get into a server, which means that you can play online with multiple people, and yes, MindTest is available for Mac devices as well as Windows devices, so you guys can all jump on the same server and play together. Uh, you're going to need to head over to MindTest.net. This is going to be their home page. Uh, from within their home page, you're going to want to go over to Community, down to Servers, and you're going to notice that you're going to have a list of servers here. Now, these list of servers are going to be free to down, or sorry, free to add. Uh, they're going to serve little descriptions on the side to kind of tell you what these servers are about. So just keep that in mind. Uh, the big number is going to be what you want to enter. And then there's going to be this side number right there. And if you look inside the server list, you're going to see that you have, where is it at on here? Uh, server name, yeah, sorry. You're going to have to enter what you want there, and then that number is going to be the port name right there. Uh, a lot of them aren't going to have passwords, but again, if you do create your own server, uh, you do need to, you, I recommend putting on a password in there unless you don't care who comes into it and you do have enough power to host a ton of people that will come in and out. As far as everything else, is you're going to see that there's texture packs, mods. I do have one mod installed, which is Animal. Uh, the game doesn't come included with animals when you're playing single player or if you were planning on hosting your own uh, so you need to add that yourself it's actually extremely easy to do uh, to do that you want to go ahead and head back over to mindtest.net and you're going to go to mods and then go ahead and click on popular and you're going to see this delivered uh, a list of different mods here uh, i clicked on the to get the animals i believe it was under mob so we'll just kind of, we'll go through this exact one again. Yes, it was mod. So you're going to see what we need to do here. I need to actually you scroll down a little bit and you're going to want to click version 2.3.6 uh, timekeeping. It should take you to a little download section. Go ahead and let, download that file. It's only 8.55 megabytes. Uh, once that is downloaded, you will then open up your file manager. I'm going to open up two file managers here actually just to kind of put them side by side. It's a little easier to uh, drag and drop and understand. You will then go into your downloads. You're going to see it's right there. Now, in the one that I'm not going to be in the downloads folder, this is going to be my home folder. So you need to make sure your username is on top. You want to press Control H, and you're going to be greeted with a bunch of hidden files. Uh, these hidden files, you know, be careful. Don't delete any of these. This is just where you can kind of come and make in some configuration to some of the programs that you have installed. So as you see, there's going to be mind test right there. We'll go ahead and enter that. And you're going to see the word mods. Now, if there is a folder that is not included there, such as mods, and you want to enter mods, just create, go ahead and right click or double tap on your keep or on your touchpad, create a new folder and name it mods. And that's all you need to do. Now go ahead and double click and enter that. And you're going to see we have it here. Now I simply just dragged and dropped my animal into that and I right clicked and extracted it. Now if you do not have an option to an extract and that means that you probably have a really fresh installation of Crouton or you're not really familiar with the uh, understanding of how Linux works, 
uh, my suggestion is go into your Ubuntu Software Center. Go ahead and type in zip. And you want to download one of these. I personally pick this one right here, which is X Archiver. Uh, sorry, I uh, have a lot of coffee in my system there. Got to catch up on my words. My brain's going a little too fast. So you go ahead and install that. It should only take a few seconds to install. Once that's installed, you just simply just click right select and you can select uh, extract to here. Uh, you are going to get a different folder name, so I'll do it actually really quick to show you. And this is the folder name that I got. Uh, what I ended up doing is just renaming the folder, and I removed everything but the animal section of it. And that's all you need to do. I don't need to notice that test. I don't even need that. And I'll go ahead and get rid of that as well. So this is going to be the animals. Uh, it's also a good idea once you've done and edited all that, go ahead and press Control H again. And that go ahead and get rid of all those just in case you accidentally highlight and delete it later on down the road. It's just a kind of a safe protection. And that's pretty, pretty much it when it comes down to mind test. Uh, mind test is extremely easy, extremely fast. Uh, I do recommend, you know, uh, starting a new game, giving it a try before you, you know, jump into the server side of things, just so you get comfortable with all the buttons. Uh, the move around directions are going to be AWSD, uh, spacebar to jump you know your mouse to click and all that type of stuff you can configure what you want to do on that enable the uh, the features per world so you're actually not going to enable them in the the actual section where where it is right yeah you're not going to enable them into the mod section here you're actually going to come into and when you create a new world before you create that world you will say you know we'll just call this new world oh shoot sorry about that I'm going to actually exit out of here really, really quick. Uh, this is the basic of what a world looks like. I don't know how fast it's going to play, but we'll go back to the menu here. So we see we have new world here. If we go to configure, this is where you're going to want to enter everything in. So I have an animals highlighted. I'll just click enable MP and that's all I need to do after I click save. Now when I go into that new world, see if I can get into it. It should take a little longer to load. Uh, the reason is, is there's probably think about 10 to 20 new uh, mods installed so I don't know if I'll be able to find some but let's see if I can do it really really quick